was supposed to give financially disadvantaged children in South Florida a great education. But instead, that school fell into chaos, leaving those kids in disgusting conditions in an F grade. Investigative reporter Bob Norman broke the story, and tonight he follows the money. It's just disgusting. It smells like urine throughout the hallways. You've heard the parents' complaints. Profanity all over the walls. And seen the terrible conditions discovered inside the F graded Paramount Charter School, funded with more than $3 million in taxpayers' money. Money froze, no money. Ah, the money. It's all gone now, replaced with a trail of debt. The big question where did it go? It's been extraordinarily tragic. Really, I mean, tragic for, our, for the students in that building. Rob Giordano is VP of Utah based American Charter Development. Paramount's landlord and investor that claims huge monetary losses on the school. We lost well over a million dollars. Giordano says the problem centered on the school's president and founder, Jamika Mason. You do not have permission. And Mason's sister, Maya Williams. He does I'm not have permission. The camera. Shown here in 2015, trying to stop us from taking video of the school. In our view, there's been fraud. Giordano says Mason set up a nonprofit company to manage Paramount called the Advancement of Education and Scholars Corporation, but also set up a for profit company with an almost identical name that received large sums of money. Nobody knows who that organization was, and it was tens of thousands of dollars, in excess of $30,000 a month going to this Dell organization. We took all the information that we had and we sent it to the Broward County Charter School's office. A top school board source confirmed the complaint and said it's been referred to the Federal Office of Inspector General. Yet while the school was floundering, Mason was living in a million dollar plus home in Davie, paying $10,500 a month in rent. Her landlord filed for eviction in June, alleging she owed over $30,000 in back rent. When I visited the gated community, Mason refused to speak with me via the security gate. Where are you getting the money to pay $10,000 for rent? That was another one of the questions, but it just didn't add up. It did not at all. Brenda Weaver Ingram was a member of the Paramount board installed by Mason after she applied for a job at the school. Have you ever been involved in education? No. Like so you had no okay. experience no. in schools whatsoever. No, no. And she says, do you want to be a yes. member of the board of directors? <laughs> yes. Weaver Ingram said she immediately realized the school was a mess that owed big money. She never had any documentation when we went to any of these meetings and they wanted to know exactly how she was going to pay them back the money, but she had no idea how she was going to pay them back the money or where she was going to get the money from. In February, American Charter forced Mason to resign, but a lawsuit filed by the school alleges possible misappropriation of funds and claims Mason attempted to manipulate the board with a quote, crony, to maintain control of the school's bank account. That prompted SunTrust Bank in the spring to freeze the school account, which sources said had more than $200,000 in taxpayers' funds in it. When the bank had two organizations fighting for that account, I think they froze it. That led to more chaos at the school, including the shutdown of bus service and added to the debt owed to vendors, including at one time nearly $50,000 for school lunches, according to court records. Yet somehow remaining staff were able to keep it going through the end of the year, albeit in wretched condition. We had children in that building. That should have never happened at all. In Lauder Hill, Bob Norman, Local 10 News. And Bob tells us that Mason recently moved out of that Davy home. His attempt to reach Mason's sister, Maya Williams, as well as a co-defendant in the civil case was unsuccessful. Now, the good news is that another charter school championship academy has taken over the building and is cleaning up the mess for the coming school year.